Hey guys, so today this is my project life for week 18. Um, I am using the Dear Lizzie Fine and Dandy collection, which has lots of bright yellows. It's got like a cherry red and then it's got like a pink color. Um, and ironically, this layout has like a lot of pictures of my husband and dad and our dogs, but it, I ended up making it work. Um, I had just, I pulled the fine and dandy collection and then there's also a project life set so I went ahead and pulled that out too so I had a variety of things to work with I really find working with a collection works so well everything is very well coordinated um, and the fact that this had project life cards was just a kind of a bonus because I didn't have to cut pattern paper down to size and there's some filler cards and journaling cards so it just made it really easy um, oftentimes a collection now will have a cut apart sheet and that is that can be helpful, um, but that really only gives you enough for one page or one spread. And having the Project Life set, even though I have way too many multiples of cards, um, it gives me a lot to choose from. So, and usually I'll pair through the cards that I have and the ones that I know that I won't use or the ones that I have used and I just don't need two or three of them I will end up putting in kind of like a giveaway or a grab bag or a to be sold pile and every once in a while just on my local swap shop so I don't have to deal with shipping I'll just put together like a box of scrapbooking stuff just kind of extra bits and pieces mostly stuff that I get in kits or um, like I said some project life cards that you know just aren't my style I'll just go through and get rid of those for 20 or 30 dollars it's not very much mostly I just want to make room in my scrap space for the stuff that I love anyway let's get back to the layout so I have a filler card there and I just put a little heart sticker on there and I'm gonna open up this washi tape booklet it's really cute it's got a lot of cute patterns in here and not a lot of repetition so if you like something there's only going to be one of it but on the plus side if there's ones that you don't like you're not dealing with like an entire roll of washi tape or you know a ton of strips and then I've also I mean when I buy collections I pretty much get everything so I've got the pattern paper I've got stickers washi tape um, the embellishment pack this little these are kind of new and at first I didn't love them, but I've ended up using all of them on different layouts except for a couple of pieces. Um, I There's this kind of greenish color. It's not quite a lime green, but there's definitely a greenish color in the, in the um, collection that I don't love. And so I found those hard to work with, with the um, acrylic shapes. So here I'm digging through, trying to find staples for my tiny attacher. and. I could not find them. I was driving myself nuts. I could not find them. And I swear I knew exactly where they were, but I can't find them. So um, eventually I give up. And then whenever I looked later, I pulled like everything out. They were exactly where I thought they were. I just couldn't find them. I think whenever you're looking for something and you're on camera and you feel like you should be in a hurry, you kind of like panic so you can't find them. <laughs> but so anyway I gave up I think I had I was able to like staple it once even though I wanted to staple it twice and I just put that a little acrylic acrylic heart on that photo with the washi tape behind it so there my little insert is done I think I don't know we just have my had my dad over gosh that would have been back in May so I made them sit for some photos on the on the porch and then um, May is when my husband and I really became dedicated to like trying to eat healthier. So I, I obviously took a ton of pictures of food of different subs and fajitas and some lettuce wraps and some fish. And um, I just kind of wanted to document that, that we were eating a lot healthier. Then obviously you can see that picture of my sneakers where I was trying to walk the dog a lot more. So we just, we we're trying to like really eat healthier and we've actually done a pretty good job of it. I'm pretty proud of us. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. But it's just definitely something that I wanted to document because I think it'll be interesting to look back in several years. Here is the 6x6 paper pad. I think I ordered like a half 
of the 6x6 paper pad, and I really like doing that because I don't feel, even though it's nice to have two of each pattern, I really find that I just don't end up using every pattern, especially, like I said, it's kind of like with the washi, like, if you get two pages of a pattern that you don't like, then that's just, I don't know, it's a waste. A waste of space, a waste of time. So I know there's a lot of flipping through on this video, but it's so hard when you get a new kit, and there are a ton of designs in these Project Life kits now. Um, so it's kind of hard when you get a new kit and you're just trying to flip through it and find exactly what you want, especially if you're picky about it like I am. <laughs> I really like that mint, it's kind of a mint and white striped paper, and it was perfect as kind of like a, just like a neutral background. So I know I knew I wanted to use that, and here I'm just going through the chipboard thickers. And that says Happy Day. I can't remember why I switched that around. Obviously, I had a good reason though. And let's see. I think here I'm just trying to like figure out what I want. I should have really embellished some of those cards a little bit more. The Fine and Dandy is more of a birthday collection, um, so it's a little bit hard to use on a regular week or just a regular layout. I did manage to make it work, but it did make it just a hair more difficult. And I don't know. I would definitely recommend using it. And then later in the summer after I made this layout, I actually did a mini album of my grandma's 80th birthday party. And I was, I used this collection exclusively and it worked just perfect for the birthday. So it was really, really awesome. And I loved using it for that but it, it made it just a little bit hard for a regular layout. But I will say I've used up quite a bit of that collection between this Project Life spread and just like one or two layouts and that mini album. I'm pretty much killed this collection, which is always like a satisfying feeling, even though it's a little bit sad to know that it's gone, um, or most of it's gone anyway. But by now it's fall and the new Dear Lizzie documentary collection has come out, so there's always new stuff to look forward to. So, obviously I'm doing a lot of journaling here. I should have cut this out. I'm a terrible video editor. I just, I don't know, I pretty much speed it up and then start narrating. I don't <laughs> cut anything out and I don't polish it. I probably should, but I feel like it's just fun to make the videos and for people to see them and I don't put a lot of thought into post-production, but I don't know, maybe I will more in the future. So that big camera sticker, I will say, okay, a lot of the pieces in this collection are really large, so they're kind of hard to use um, in a mini album or on Project Life. They're just really like oversized elements. It's kind of funny. Um, so here's my sticker book. I'm still really loving this sticker book, and I pulled out these kind of they're almost like a vellum or washi type sticker and um, the color just went well with the rest of the collection since it was that pink color and I just wanted to put week 18 on there and again I kept it pretty simple I think since I had a layout or an insert this week in this spread I kept it more simple than I normally would so here it's funny to, it's funny just like looking back at this because this was obviously photos taken in the spring and here it is at the end of August but I was so excited that my hair was long enough for like this dorky little ponytail and it would just like barely fit into this ponytail and now my hair is longer again it didn't take long to grow out <laughs> so it's just kind of funny to look back on that and be like whoa that was such a big moment was that I could tie my hair up <laughs> But I'm really bad. I get into a bad habit of just tying my hair up when it's long. So it almost does me no good to have long hair because I just pull it back into a ponytail or a messy bun. So I'm thinking of cutting my hair again and going short. So we'll see if I'm brave enough to do that though. So here, this is what I don't like about inserts is sometimes I feel like I have enough for half of an insert but not the whole thing. So it made it a little bit frustrating. Um to try to dress up one half of it or one side of it so one side is like very empty with one photo and then when you flip the page there's a ton of photos and they're bigger photos so it's just kind of weird the way it works but 
here again I'm flipping through some of these cards I don't know if they were the first and last cards or what because this is just like a partial kit but um, some of them had glitter on them and those are really pretty I really like that red triangle card and at the top and it's got like some glitter on it and it's really pretty it's like I almost hate to just use it as a filler card but I did <laughs> so here's the last page of the spread and I've got a lot more photos obviously that I'm finishing up with and I've pretty much got every piece filled here or every pocket filled there's not a lot left so right now it's just going to come down to embellishing and sticking stuff down obviously this photo cutting photos down can be really difficult because you don't know what size you're going to need or I I don't plan mine out so I don't know what size I'm going to need I just print them all out and usually I find that you can cut them down but sometimes it makes it a little hard but I made it work I mean obviously I didn't I just needed to cut it down a little bit I didn't have to cut it down and fit it inside that little ring of hearts but I thought it looked really cute like that and then I rounded the corners just to kind of give it a softer feel and I'm ready to tuck it in the pocket with a little journaling on there so it looks like on this one I just did a lot of stickers I I do remember covering that up I used a sticker and covered up just like a piece of the title that I didn't really like so that's kind of a nice way to use the stickers and to use cards that you might not otherwise use because you can doctor them up the way you need to and make them fit what you need so I'm pretty much winding down here I think I'm gonna do some journaling on that card probably off camera but really I'm just trying to get everything on the pages and in the pockets so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this process video if you did please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber thanks so much guys